Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, so tonight I'm going to show you how I make beef burgers because apparently it's summer and it's barbecue season uh, unless you live in Scotland, in which case it's windy and rainy. But you can still cook these on the grill or in a frying pan uh, and they're really easy and quite good fun to make. Um, slight difference is I'm going to show you the basic beef burger recipe but then we're going to change it a little bit and add some extra flavour so I'm going to make two sets and one will have black pudding in it and the other one will have chorizo in it um, but the basic recipe is, uh, is the same for both so to make about 8 burgers you need 500 grams of mince try and get the lean stuff for 5% fat 12% fat is okay but in more than that you're just buying fat basically um, you need half an onion per 500 grams of mince, um, one egg, uh, you need some breadcrumbs, um, I normally put in a wee bit of Worcester sauce and some salt and pepper. Uh, equipment wise, you need a couple of bowls, um, if you can get hold of one of these it's brilliant, it's just a little plastic bur burger press, I'll show you how it works uh, once I've made the patties up. You can make them with your hands, but this may, just makes them the same shape and compacts them a little bit better. Uh, and also, we save a bit of time, a little food, pro food processor would come in handy as well. Um, so, first things first, I'm going to take the skin off the onion and usually I grate it into the burger recipe. However, I've not got too much time tonight, so I'm going to actually put it in the food processor and see how that works out. Um, so. I'll do that and then um, I'll come back to the fun bit which is mixing it all together. Okay, so food processing the onions worked out quite well, it's quite finely chopped. Uh, I guess if I grate it it would be a bit finer than that but I'll see how it goes like that. Um, so take your bowl and put in the mince. Make sure you take that wee bit off the bottom, just break it up a little bit. Uh, next put in the onions. Uh, right, now you want to put in the seasoning, so a good bit of salt and pepper. Right, uh, we'll do the black pudding one first. Um, there is a slight difference to the way I do the two of them. So, if you just want to make beef burgers um, without chorizo or black pudding, just don't put this in at this stage, okay? Just completely mess it out and then do what I do afterwards. So, with black pudding, what I do is I just chop it up. Sorry, there's 200 grams of black pudding here. So, like half a small, small pudding, basically. And I just break it up into the mix. Like that. Just use your fingers to squash it. Okay, so that's the black pudding all in. You just see it's roughly broken up. Um, so as I said, if you don't want to put the black pudding in, don't put it in. Just follow the rest of the, rest of the recipe. Um, so next then, we need to put some moisture. So I know I'll put a tablespoon of in turns. And for each 500 grams of mince, you need one egg. Like so. Uh, okay, so you need to bind this all together, and the only real way you can do it is getting your hands stuck in. Um, so just get right into the mixture and start squeezing it all together, making sure everything gets mixed up nicely so there's no bits that have more black pudding than beef, and everything gets nice and bound. So you're basically just making a big patty, as it's called. If you find any bits of black pudding that are a bit too big, just break them up in your fingers again. Okay, now the trick is to not have the mixture too wet. So hopefully you can see it, it's, it's quite wet because of the Worcester sauce and the egg. And that's where the breadcrumbs come in. Okay, because you want it to bind, but if it's too wet, then it'll just stick to the press, it'll just stick to the grill, and it'll, it'll just not be nice. So 
there's no exact science to this I'm afraid I can't give you a measurement of breadcrumbs you just kind of gradually add them like that get your fingers in again again make sure it's all mixed up and then you can once you've done this a few times you can basically feel when it's dry enough so that's that's still a bit wet, you can still see a bit of a glisten there so let me add more the trick is you don't want to add too much and it becomes too dry and too bread like this is really good fun, it's quite therapeutic actually bit more breadcrumbs we're almost there I should say make sure you get if you don't make your own breadcrumbs make sure you get the natural ones don't get the golden breadcrumbs you want um, just the plain old ones plain old natural breadcrumbs right that is just about right it's not too damp it's holding together quite well you can see I can actually hold it like that and it's you know it's binding quite well so now we are ready to make burgers all right so to make the burgers a decent burger is around about 110 to 120 grams that's pretty much a quarter pounder give or take and uh, when you see what an actual quarter pounder looks like when you make it yourself you'll wonder how certain fast food chains get away with calling their burgers quarter pounders so i've got a set of digital scales here i've got the whole mix rolled into a ball and you just want to weigh it so that's 885 grams um, so that'll be basically 110 grams of burger I'll get 8 burgers out of this um, so stick it back in the bowl and just break off a little bit you want to weigh out 110 grams you need to be kind, quite exact for this so that you don't end up with like one wee burger at the end or you know one huge burger and loads of other small ones um, because you kind of want them all to cook at the same rate as well so that's 110 grams so take all that Move your scales and bring in the burger press. Now, the important thing is I've oiled this. I don't know if you can see the kind of shine on it. It stops the the meat from sticking, but you can see it's just three bits of plastic. So you've got a base, you've got the edges, and then you've got the, the press. So uh, put the put the meat in. Just kind of press it about a wee bit, and then you get this and just press down on it. doesn't take long, a few seconds have a look, make sure it's out to all the edges and then I find the best thing to do because um, I need these for tomorrow so I'm making them tonight you're actually better off making them the night before just so they like, kind of have time to set on and bind together so get a baking tray and get a sheet of um, greaseproof paper and then all you need to do is ease the corner off like that or easy edges off even and just turn it upside down on the gooseberry paper and give it a pat and it falls straight out and there you go one beef and black pudding burger okay uh, that's taken me over oh, five minutes and you've got eight beautiful beef and black pudding burgers here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean film these and put them in the fridge They'll be perfectly fine until uh, friends come over tomorrow night. Uh, you can freeze these if you want, if none of your ingredients have been frozen already. Uh, my black pudding was frozen because I had some left over, so I need to cook these tomorrow. I can't really freeze them because of that. Um, but you know, eight quarter pounders, taking all ten minutes to make, really good fun to make, and probably just over five pounds for the ingredients. I think I'll price it up and I'll tell you at the end. Um, so I'm going to make up the other basic um, beef uh, mix now and then I'll show you the treats or variation.